Sorry, I can't do a tasting, unfortunately, in California. Oh. <laughs> I can't spray yeah, it in let me smell it. Let me smell it. Right? Today, we are doing our Whiskey Wander from the grand opening of a Total Wine store in San Diego, where we're going to see some great bottles, things like Gold Spot Irish Whiskey, the Jack Daniels Sinatra Select, and the most elusive of the bunch, the Long Grow 15, the red version, uh, which is one of the favorites of the wife. And we're going to see a whole bunch more and also do the full uncut wander at the very end of the video. Now, if you like these videos, if you like the wanders, if you like the hauls, if you like the reviews, the unboxings, the unboxings, and really all the amazing stuff we got cooking up for you, and we got a lot of cool stuff cooking up here, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. It's good for your whiskey mojo. And you know what? You get notifications when our newest videos come out every Sunday and sometimes in between. All right, now let's get down to the Total Wine Whiskey Wander. All right, now before we get started, let's start this off with a whiskey check, uh, which today I am uh, drinking something that is a little bit special because, you know, Total Wines don't open up every day. At least I don't think so. Uh, so today I'm going to be drinking out of this Hibiki Harmony, which is a great, uh, I guess, above average daily sipper is how I would call that. It is the Harmony version, so it is a blend of the distilleries from Yamazaki, Hakushu and Cheetah, I believe. Let's see if we can get a pop here. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. Get a little bit of juice for myself. So, to whiskey. Because really, you can never drink too much of it. You can only just drink it too fast. Cheers. Mmm, that is good. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, if you ever get a chance to go to a Total Wine grand opening, you definitely should, even if you don't get any whiskey, because they have a lot of great things. They got, uh, Maker's Mark was there giving out uh, freshly made um, tote bags with their little Maker's Mark things. They gave each of us, the wife and I, new glasses. Uh, that we can use. I mean, <laughs> they even had they even had cookies um, with their total wine symbols on them. So I saved these. They're probably a little stale now, but uh, I don't know. I was just kind of impressed with the thought and the detail they have, plus some little coupons and a little book. Um, and <laughs> they even had um, the character portraits to be drawn. So <laughs> take a look at this one. <laughs> Does it look like me? Kind of looks like me, huh? We did see some Eagle Rare uh, for $34.99, but ended up not picking it up uh, in this trip. Is that you? No, not more of a dangle. Sweet one of the team. Just one team. And gold spot. Now, the first whiskey that we picked up at this grand opening at Total Wine was one that is pretty hard to get, at least at the time it was, uh, which is this Gold Spot Irish whiskey, um, which, like it sounds, it is Irish, um, and it is meant to celebrate the 135th anniversary of the Mitchells and Sons Distillery in Ireland. Um, obviously, it is aged nine years, as it says on the front here. And that's a good-looking bottle. And look at that whiskey in there. That is some great look of whiskey. That is just, my mouth is watering just looking at it. Oh uh, yeah, it's aged nine years. It's between the blue spot, which is aged seven years, and the red spot, uh, which is 15 years. It is made up of 100% malted and unmalted barley, and it is non-chill filter. Um, it is aged in port, sherry, and Bordeaux cask for a totality of those nine years. And of course, it's still using noticeably <laughs> Irish pot stills. Now, this one specifically we got at Total Wine for $104.99, which you can see in the video. And I think it was kind of at the mid-range price uh, because it did end up eventually showing up at Costco for as low as $95.99, uh, which means that the $104.99 that we ended up buying it for, uh, we bought it for about $9 over the Costco price or 8.6%. So, not too bad. Now, being a special edition, um, the Gold Spot has a 
ABV on it at 51.4%, uh, which is definitely, definitely good enough. It's much higher than the other spots, and it's definitely good enough to bring out those rich flavors that I'm hoping are going to be left over from those, um, the variety of sherry and bourbon casks. Uh, the tasting notes that I could find on it, because I have not tried it yet, uh, mention things like butter, cream, orange peel, creme brulee, coconut, and light tannic heavy dessert flavors, which <laughs> really sound right up my alley, at least as far as Irish whiskeys go. Now, as far as reviews on it, um, there aren't really that many reviews out there, but the ones that I can find are giving it pretty glowing reviews. In fact, uh, it got between 91 and 95 in general. Um, when you average it out, it's around 91 points um, that it got for the majority out of 100, which is what I would expect, especially from a bottle of whiskey that is getting so much hype as this one. So obviously, in conclusion, uh, I ended up buying one of these. In fact, we bought two of them uh, just in case, you know, we can drink one now and have one for rainy days because, you know, I don't know if they're going to do the gold spot ever again. And, you know, we want to have one around if it is absolutely as amazing as people say it is. Total wine, St. Michael's. Thank you. Oh, of course. Because I was looking for it. Now, for those of you who have a long and well-acquainted relationship with Jack Daniels, <laughs> for better or for worse, um, and for those of you who love Old Blue Eyes, that's Frank Sinatra, this next whiskey is a whiskey that combines basically the both of them into one single bottle, which is this Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. And, uh, you know, I think Jack Daniels really kind of went out of their way to try to make this uh, box look very nice and have it's got the little fedora and make it seem very presentable. Now, of course, I'm going to be right up front here and say that I truly hope that this is just not some sort of money grab from Jack Daniels. But, you know, spoiler alert, <laughs> I think it's a money grab from Jack Daniels. Um, but hopefully they're just trying not to play off the love of Frank Sinatra and the love that Frank Sinatra had for Jack Daniels um, just to inspire more profits. But, you know, <laughs> that's how that goes. Now, that being said, I am kind of a sucker for both. I mean, the prospect of listening to my way and sipping a spruced up version of Jack Daniels is kind of tempting. Um, this is not normal Jack Daniels. For example, first, it has an ABV at 45%. Um, which is you know considerably higher than the normal Jack Daniels, is a uh, mash bill of 80% corn, 8% rye, and 12% malted barley. Um, but it doesn't have an age statement on it, so you know it could be you know just a couple of years old. Now the real thing here is that the whiskey is allegedly aged in Sinatra barrels, which are I guess probably like normal barrels, but maybe have dubious dealings with barrels from the underworld. <laughs> Hey, I'm just kidding, Underworld Barrels. But these Sinatra barrels have grooves notched into them to allow for a bolder exposure to the toasted oak layers that purportedly results in a smokier, bolder, and smoother Jack Daniels experience. Now, one of the most notable things about this Jack Daniels is that it is uncharacteristically Jack Daniels priced. Um, we got this one here at Total Wine for $119.99, um, but you can find them both at BevMo and at Costco, where they've been popping up for $109.99 at Costco or $149.99 at BevMo. Um, so, you know, for the $119, still pretty reasonably priced. But by buying it by the Total Wine Grand Opening, I didn't end up overpaying by $10 or 9% over the Costco price, but I guess... You know, when we crank this thing open and give it a review, uh, we're going to see if that higher amount maybe is worth not having to wait to have found it at Costco. Now, like I said, the ABV on this one is at 45%, uh, whereas the normal Jack Daniels is at 40%. Also, you get this long torso version of the bottle, which I think is kind of cool. It's a very distinctive uh, bottle. Uh, the tasting notes on it that I could find mention that it has flavors like banana nuts, caramel, toffee, and a thin mouthfeel without much complexity. <laughs> Who would have guessed the Jack Daniels would be like that? But I do wonder how this compares to, you know, the higher up Jacks, like the Gentleman Jacks, uh, the Single Barrels, the Bottles and Bonds, some of those other kind of really more like luxury products that Jack Daniels is putting out as of late. So we'll have to see. The review scores on this Jack Daniels Sinatra Select um, are 
admittedly a bit lackluster from what you would expect. Um, you know, it's giving it around 86 out of 100 points. Um, so, you know, when it gets down to the brass tacks of just pure taste, um, it does seem apparent that this could probably, and it, again, a, be in my mind a cynical money grab um, before, you know, frankly, the Sinatra name doesn't carry the oomph um, that it used to and uh, the oomph that it needs to sell more bottles. So, kind of sad. Uh, it's kind of true, though. Now, the last and definitely not the least bottle that we end up picking at this Total Wine Grand Opening, and I think the wife and I were both most excited about this one, was this Long Grown 15, which is actually a pretty difficult bottle to get a hold of um, in the United States and moreover in Europe. Now, it's a unique single malt scotch out of Campbelltown that's obviously aged 15 years, where it spends 11 of those years in bourbon barrels, and then four additional years in new Pinot Noir Barinkis. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's obviously what gives it that beautiful kind of swarthy color to it, um, and hopefully a very sweet taste. Also, did I mention that it is peated? <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely a little bit of an odd bird, but I think it's going to be amazing. Now, that being said, this one at Total Wine was at $149.99, which is pretty good considering uh, I've seen it at local liquor stores here for $169.99. Um, and I haven't seen it at either Costco or BevMo, so we don't have those prices. Um, so getting this one, you know, I saved $20 off the local liquor store or 13%. So I'm pretty happy with that. The ABV on it is at 51.4%. Uh, so it's got a good kick to it. And the tasting notes mention things like lots and lots of smoke, a strong wine influence, strawberries, cranberries and leafy bitterness which i'm not 100 percent sure what that means but it sounds interesting average review points i could find on it uh only gave it 85 out of 100 points um and you know a lot of them say that it was sort of disappointing in comparison to the previous year's version um which i have not tried so i think i kind of kind of take that into consideration that they're comparing it to last year's rather than just comparing it to it on its own but we'll have to review it and see how it tastes so in the end, of course, we ended up buying uh, two of these as well because, well, there wasn't many of them. Uh, they're hard to find. And, you know, when the wife tells you uh, which whiskey she wants, <laughs> you got to get at least one, if not two of them. But hopefully we'll get a chance to try them and do a review and put it out. And, uh, you know, I'd love to hear what you all think about any of these ones, but specifically Long Grow Red. All right, so that's it for today's Whiskey Wander at the Total Wine in San Marcos, which is in San Diego, at their grand opening. And I hope you liked the video, and if you did, if you enjoy the videos, if you like the hauls, the unbottlings, the unboxings, and the reviews, and the wanders, and kind of all the great stuff uh, that we got cooking up for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest videos come out every Sunday, sometime in between, like this one. Now, remember, if you do find a whiskey that you love, just buy it. Because if you don't, surely somebody else will, and it might even be me. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your week. I'm out. Adios.